I've, I've never really thought about it that way. For me, it was always a situation that I was going to be in. I think I accepted it from the beginning when I started playing again in 2011. So um, I, don't, I don't really think that way. I try to make the most out of it. If I'm the greatest player in the world and not playing a single tournament, that doesn't change that I'm the greatest player in the world. The only thing that's different is that I'm not at the top of the world rankings. So um, both things must not necessarily go um, next, uh, next to each other. If that was true, um, I actually should have played a lot better at the beginning of the season than the end of the season, because towards the end of the season, I probably played, I don't know, maybe 20, 20 weeks out of 25. So it would be quite logic to be weaker towards the end, but that is actually where I played the best and also with the most travel that I've had. Since I've openly talked about it, I'm only being approached by people who want to help me, who are aware of the situation and who do not mind it. And um, I've just signed with another good partner um, who actually fits quite nicely in there. I've signed with BMW and I'm driving a nice uh, 320D diesel touring, um, which is nice to travel around Europe with. I just enjoy playing golf. It's, it's, it's that simple. I enjoy playing golf. Um, I enjoy getting better. And I guess those two um, motivational factors, um, when they come together, it's, it seems to make me um, capable of competing at this level. On my way from Genève to, to Ireland in 2014 for a challenge to event, I, I went past a German soldier cemetery uh, in, in the Normandy. Um, I just decided to pull over to have a look and it really touched me emotionally and motivated me to uh, look within my own family history. That was very insightful, very emotional and very um, inspiring. So I'm very happy for those things. John Daly, John Daly, big time. He keeps you upbeat forever. I think he'd be great. <laughs> Wow, that's a tough one. Because I don't really have like one, two or three genres that I really go into. It really depends on my mood. So that is a tough one. So I'm probably going to go with uh, something that I've enjoyed quite lately. And that would be my good old University of South Carolina alumni band, Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> <laughs>